All right, so we're gonna connect this 25 meter long cable to the submersible pump, uh, and we're gonna test. All we're gonna connect the cables. Uh, the black and brown to black and brown to the ground, yeah. And, and blue and yellow to plus, so we can remember that later. This is right now connection only for testing. It's going to be much nicer later on in the process. And now to validate the cable, we just use a standard voltmeter to measure in. 20 volt range and we're going to connect as we said before the brown and the uh, black to ground and the blue and the yellow to plus and we get 12.8 volt that's Great. mean the cable is actually working surprise surprise all so right the pump is in the water and we're going to try to connect it to 12 volt this is the pump side just going to put in regular sugar tube to call it Okay. And as you can see, there is a sign that the white one is the positive. This one, the one we're going to connect to the positive side of the battery, of course. And we are not going to do it the other way around. I guess the pump can die like that. And the pump is fully submerged in water. It is connected to a pipe, which is actually going to the greenhouse, into the water system there. We are not sure if the water system is going to hold it, maybe something will fall off. And we also expect the water to disappear quite fast. Let's try it, see what happens. Yeah. Struggling. Struggling, but it seems to be working. You can hear the watering going. The water is getting lower, that's for sure. Let's go see if there is water in the system. Seems to be working good. <laughs> 